I'm going to be showing you a very, very simple way that you can save CPU power when using lots of plugins on your computer. So when mixing a track or creating a demo or maybe you're trying to create your own full finish track, um, one of the early mistakes I made and I see a lot of people making is they try and use 150 plugins and then it starts jamming up their computer and it, the computer can't handle it because it doesn't have enough power. Now, I have one of the new MacBook M2s um, and fortunately for me, I can run pretty much as many plugins on this thing as I like and it doesn't run into any problems. However, um, for those of you that don't have, um, and I had a friend who's recently contacted me saying he's trying to run a, a base plugin and a bunch of other plugins, a Soldano plugin, and he's having issues because every time he starts using them, they start jamming up his computer and it crashes. So, simple fix, super easy fix. We've done another video on changing your sample rate, um, your buffering rate. You can do that. You can go and check that video out. I'll put a link in the description um, where I explain about how to set up your, um, your door for recording and mixing. Um, but in this video, we're just going to look at a, a really super simple, easy, easy way of freeing up loads of uh, CPU space on your computer. So it's dead easy. So as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five vocal tracks open here. Now I've got my verse. I've got my sort of main chorus vocal. I'll just name that chorus. Um, there is a bit of a bridge section. Um, and then we've got some backing vocals. Now, I don't want to put my plugins on every single channel because that's then going to use up more cpu so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the mixing panel you press x in um, this particular door um, to open that up and we're going to go over to chorus because we want the loudest section and what we're going to do here is we're going to create a send so we're going to click here and we're going to add a bus channel or an effects channel um, but i use a, a bus channel let's let's just add an effects channel for now so there's your effects channel um, and over here now, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to go Nectar 3. We're going to click on that and open the plugin. We're just going to let it, I'm just going to let it do its thing. Um, we're going to play the vocal a few times. Here's a small clip. Here's a rain fell. As the judge pronounced them guilty and gave. As a small clip. Okay, so now, even though the effect is over here on the right-hand channel, it's still affecting this channel because we've got the send coming from here into effects one. Now, what we want to do is we want to come over to here as well, and I want to add another plugin. So I'm going to add X Rider um, to this. Uh, in fact, actually, what I might do is uh, I might do X Vox. Um, Pro, and I'm just going to add some slight more compression to this. So let's go again. As the judge pronounced them guilty and gave a one way ticket to hell. Good girls will always find trouble, and bad boys ain't so mean. These two will live in infamy. And that's that. So you've got your um, send there. Now over here, we can select how much of that we want. So let's just listen again. As a small clip, as the rain fell, as the judge pronounced them guilty and gave a one-way ticket to hell. So if you want 100% of the effect to affect the vocal, then you obviously turn that all the way. You turn that all the way up, um, or you can just have it set to um, where it was, um, which was somewhat near zero or near the middle um so yeah so you can set it at that um and choose your levels as you wish i'm just going to keep it at zero oh. good girls will always find trouble and bad boys ain't so mean these two will live in now when i want to add the same uh, effects to my 
verse um, which we may want to do so what we're going to do here is we're just going to find the verse there's the verse channel and we're going to click here all we now have to do is click on fx1 and then maybe we don't need it quite so much so we'll leave it a little bit lower so let's go to the verse now see how that's been affected Rosanna was the prettiest child the world had ever seen she had the reddest hair, eye, every skin, and her eyes were emerald green. But we're still only using these two plugins. Now, if we'd have put those on here, we'd have now been using four. So you'd have quadrupled the amount of CPU power that we're using on that particular plugin. Now, we've got one more vocal um, that we want to be the same. So we come over here and we go FX1 and we leave that one the same again. Um, and then we've got our two lots of backing vocals. So the backing vocals might be slightly different. So we might choose to go over here and we might choose to create another FX channel called FX2. And if you look across the bottom here, it's now opened this up. Now we might want this and this again, but the difference with it this time is I'm probably gonna add a little bit more reverb and a little bit more delay. Um, so I'm going to add some reverb and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose delay. Um, and I'm just going to just move the chain around a little bit, smooth that off. And now when I play the backing vocals um, and I choose ascend again and I go to FX2. So no. um, now all of a sudden we've got lots of effects on lots of vocals, but we're not using as many plugins. And that is going to save your computer a lot of struggle. And let's just have a listen now. way too much but you get the idea <laughs> so um, maybe we don't want that delay um, but you get the idea with it you understand now obviously how you can save yourself some CPU power and and back in the early days it's something I didn't learn about straight away and I just used to get frustrated all the time with my computer getting slowed down now you don't have to worry about that and one other thing I'm gonna quickly show you a bonus trick um, and this is, I say a trick, is it's just super simple. So let's say this, for example, here, right? Say I've got 10 plugins on this particular uh, track here. I mean, at the moment, there's only one. Let's say I'm completely happy with it, but it's really starting to jam up now my CPU. Quite simply, you can come over here and you can bounce it to a new track. So it'll bounce it as a completed with all the edits on there the only thing i would tell you though before you do that make sure that you are completely happy with how it sounds um sometimes here as well i'm using easy bass so in fact I, I know i'm happy with what that's playing so let me just show you, you just click bounce to a new track that's um now going to convert this midi into audio and now i can come up here and remove track and instrument and now that's one less really big uh, CPU usage um, being taken off the computer. So there you go. There's uh, two little tips for you in terms of making your computer run a bit smoother when doing your mixing. So thanks for watching the video. If that was useful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It's really helping me out. I had a target of get to the end of the January to get to 700. I'm on 656 as of right now. So thanks to everybody who has helped me out and I'll be back again with loads more of these videos.